It's art from inside the Northern Territory Detention Centre. For the first time, an exhibition showcasing over 50 works by asylum seekers has gone on display in Darwin. Organisers hope the art will change the way the Australian public looks at those being held inside. You know, artists doesn't have anything. So this is everything for me, being this, this few images. Joya's photographs are a celebration of his Hazara culture and his homeland in Afghanistan. When I've been in Afghanistan in different places, I take these photographs. The photojournalist is slowly coming to terms with the reality of freedom. A week ago, he was granted a visa after spending almost 17 months in detention. It was full of hopelessness and sometimes the situation is worse. And even I have no words to explain, to explain my feeling how I spent 16, 17 months inside detention. Of course, it is a very hard time for me. Joya and his family fled from the Taliban to Pakistan when he was a teenager, and it was there that he developed his photographic skills. In Afghanistan, photography and related to camera work, it is very hard to do. Taliban have their own ideology, and they consider it as an evil practice. In 2009, uh, I tried to uh, exhibit my picture in Kabul, but they received threat and call from extremist group. I can say this is Taliban. And they threaten if the exhibition go ahead, we can face very bad consequences. His long-awaited exhibition is now a reality in Australia. 20 asylum seekers who've been held in Darwin immigration facilities are exhibiting their work at the Supreme Court in Darwin. Most of it is purely visualisations of their feelings, their dreams, their nightmares, where they've come from, the country they've come from, or the country they've arrived at. This is the only source which I can express my feeling. A lot of work I did in the past years, so few of them I have with me. Actually, this is my inside feeling. The idea of the exhibition came to curator Vicky Riley when she visited Darwin's Northern Immigration Detention Centre as a volunteer. All of a sudden, people started bringing out their art from their rooms, including Joya. And, you know, I was just really, really excited and started to develop the idea of an exhibition, and it grew from there. With the exception of Joya's work, all of the art has been done inside detention walls here in Darwin. We've got some wonderful works that are very patriotically Australian. The ideas about Aussie culture, the lucky country that we all sort of seem to believe in, for these people, they really hold that dream close to heart. Some of it is the product of therapy sessions to overcome depression. A bird in the cage is a recurrent symbol in a lot of the artwork, people trapped inside. They're all symbols that they use that the viewer will know instantly that this is done by somebody who hasn't got the freedom of movement. I found it very moving because um, to see these people so um, using Australian symbols like kangaroos and emus and um, so happy to be here in this country and things of freedom that we just take for granted. You can really see the way that uh, the confinement has really shaped the art. It's very difficult to have a conversation about anything except the, the suffering that people are going through and the suffering they're escaping by fleeing their homelands. I think it's fantastic these people can still produce and create in such a situation that they're in. The support of the Supreme Court, the judges of the Supreme Court is absolutely fantastic and obviously the right context for such an exhibition. From official funding bodies I haven't had much support at all, which is very, very disappointing. For those involved in the exhibition, it's a chance to make a lasting impression and change the way the Australian public looks at those being held in detention. I think everyone's sick of the footage of the people in the orange flak jackets on the boats. And I think that's rubbed off on the, on the public that they are anonymous cardboard cutouts. I think instantly the exhibition will reveal that these people are all unique. 
this is like dream. This is not freedom of detention. This is freedom of everything. I can I can do everything. Those things I didn't do in Afghanistan. Here I will do. <laughs>